Hello and welcome back to Best in UC TV. I'm your host, Heather Clancy. You know, I get really excited about technology, which uh, makes me wonder sometimes. They have me as the host on this show, and I can, I can get over the top. And Unified Communications is one of the things I've been very excited about for a very long time. But this stuff can be pretty overwhelming, especially when you're trying to do a job and someone's telling you, you got to use this, you got to use that, make this work, et cetera, et cetera. So as businesses think about how to adopt Unified Communications, video conferencing, and all of these really cool collaboration tools, how do they keep it simple? Our guest today is Tom Kincannon. He is with Luminet. He's the founder of that company, and they're in Indianapolis. And his mantra is keeping it simple. And so I asked Tom to speak with us today about you know, some of the things that his company is doing to really explore a business's need and then make adoption happen more smoothly. Welcome to Best in UC TV today. Hello. Thanks, Heather. It's good to be here. The first question I'd like to ask you is simply, how do you go into a company, a prospect, and help them understand how Unified Communications, or a piece of Unified Communications, a particular application, could help them? Where do you start? Well, our typical process is uh, we tell people up front, just because you build it doesn't mean they'll come. Right. Unified Communications, as you said, can be very overwhelming. So. Right. What we've, tr what we've tried to do is, is simplify it for every customer. Uh, we try to do that with every technology piece that we're in. And so what we're looking for initially is we're looking for a, a champion. So we're looking for an area in the company that maybe is uh, well thought of, maybe is uh, earning uh, great revenues for the organization, but they think they can do better. So mm -hmm. we're, we're looking for those kinds of areas in the company where uh, there's really kind of a, a golden carrot, if you will, where mm -hmm. they can really mm -hmm. leverage an opportunity. And then we apply um, app, the software to applications that we learn within those areas of the company. Typically, even if they're not looking to make an investment, we've been very successful finding a way for them to make an investment just by looking at an area where they can really find a great return on an investment in UC and then have those folks champion it through the organization. How flexible is some of this technology in adapting to existing workflows, or do you have to actually go in and, and encourage people to change the way they're doing things in order to make adoption? We're always looking for those that are a little more technology savvy, mm -hmm. that are open-minded, that are open-minded to changes in process. Mm -hmm. because this technology is a process changer. And uh, the whole idea behind software is to automate what used to be more of a manual process. Now, you and I were speaking earlier about the fact that you know not everyone's job is the same. Not everyone's role within the company is the same. So once you get into a group like that, you could certainly find similar groups within the company that might be applicable. But a totally different department with a totally different type of workflow might not be a, a good candidate or might be a candidate for a different type of application. So how do you go about helping a um, organization sort of define the different roles? Well, I think, you know, it's interesting because in groups, um, some people think, um, you know, they, they know the roles and the rules and you'll talk to people in the same group, maybe on a different site, maybe they're in the same mm. work group. Mm -hmm. a completely different perspective. So part of what we're trying to do in the process is, is um, not talk so much about the software, but talk more about their process and their people, and, and then apply the technology based on that. So talk to me about how that makes a person's life simpler, or how, you know, if you were going into a department and saying, you, Mr. Salesperson, here's why you should think about this this technology, here's why it can help you close more deals or make your life simpler. What, what are some of the things you would point out to that person? Well, um, the very first place we start is, um, what do you do, obviously? What type yeah. of work are you doing? Are, are you a mobile person? You sit in front of a PC all day long? Or are you on the telephone all day? So if they're a mobile person, a salesperson, for example, um, callers want to get to the salesperson the first time. They don't want to go to voicemail. They don't want to play phone tag. So part of the technology capabilities are applying the software tools so that the caller can get to that person, that expert resource in the company, and get their answers to their questions and do that quickly. 
I may be working at Starbucks on a wireless network with my iPad uh, or my smartphone, uh, and I want to be connected to the enterprise telephone system. Uh, so a, to the caller or the person that I may call, it looks like I'm in my office doing my job. So I can literally work anywhere uh, on any mobile device. So it gives um, a mobile person, and this is just one application, Sure. Any that, you can afford. that alone, if you can increase the productivity of a salesperson, who obviously is key in any organization, um, it's a great place to start because it's an, an easy way to demonstrate how you can increase productivity and, and profitability by generating more revenue more quickly. Talk to me about, you know, you talked to me a little bit about the, the discovery. What about, okay, now we're going to do this. What happens after that technology gets put in place? Sure. Um, well, I think our suppliers and, uh, have been very, very helpful to us over the years in helping us understand where uh, customer loyalty comes from. And where that comes from is high user adoption. So uh, mm -hmm. we've always mm -hmm. found that, you know, if you find the, the innovative people with the innovative IT support staff, if you train the users and you train that staff extremely well, the user adoption goes way up. That equates directly to mm -hmm. customer loyalty. Right. So how can unified communications help the management of a company um, get a better handle on their processes? A lot of people forget that reports are just that. They're reports. And if you don't set them up to reflect what you're trying to measure, then you can't manage. You can't look for uh, places in a process where you're having problems. But if you... If you define the process well and you, and you look for um, reporting tools to um, evaluate, really give you the tools to evaluate what's going on, then um, management reports are great. Uh, if they're not set up properly or it's difficult for the customer to pull those reports mm -hmm. or they're not automated, mm -hmm. uh, it, they're not going to use them. And if they aren't using the reporting tools, then they can't manage. So I want to wrap up by asking you, you know, you've got, you've got your friend and, and you want to help them make the right investment here. Um, what two or three things would you tell them, um, do this when you're, when you're investing in unified communications or don't do this? Okay. Well, I think, um, as I mentioned uh, earlier, looking for uh, a place in an organization where, that has high visibility or that's highly respected and has um, kind of their thought of as the thought leaders or the innovator. And then I would say from that point, it's um, working with the people to understand their process. So it takes some time to figure out, okay, how does your business work? Uh, and, and ask enough questions of them to understand how it's working today and then try and pull from their brains what they're trying to, what they're trying to innovate and then give them the technology to do that. So Unified Communications, if you just walk in and say, oh, you know, we've got 400 software features and throw them up on the wall, they're probably going to throw up on you. You know, <laughs> it's just going to be difficult <laughs> for them to be able to, to, to understand that. So you really got to break it down and make it simple. Okay. Well, thank you. It was great, great to meet you today. Thank you very much for your time. You and Appreciate thanks time. for uh, viewing another episode of Best in UC TV. Until we meet again, I'm Heather Clancy.